Welcome back, everybody, for some more Dummy Slav and the Croatians and all that stuff. Let's get into this. Bloody Hooves, number two. Uh, number one was, it was a good scenario until the very, very end, which is kind of unfortunate, but let's see what the second one has to offer. As Tomislav sat upon his throne, Croatia seemed to grow with every year. However, as its borders expanded, so did its enemies become more ferocious. Under the command of the Brutus Prince Voltan, the Myers declared war against Croatia. They had already captured the Carpathian Basin, where Great Moravia once stood, but their thirst for conquest was far from quenched. Having just conquered Lower Pannonia, their horde of cavalry archers and lancers soon descended into Croatia full speed. Though Tomislav's army was mighty, competing against this menace would require much more than brute force. As the Myers charged toward the northern outpost of Sisak, Tomislav would have to quickly adapt where the Moravian could not. Alrighty. Oh, happy music. Well, pretty. Uh, tell me. Oh, I figured. Sasak. Well, they're getting the downhill bonus, but we're getting our uphill bonus. Stuff's going on in the background, but let's just focus on cleaning up this fight. Um, we have our Zultans! Man, the Croatian music is so happy. Our time is running out. We must raise all of Zoltan's castles and drive his raiders away from here. Alright. Seems pretty straightforward to me. And yeah, destroy the three castles. Uh, Croatia is still a small dukedom. So Tomislav is limited to a pop of 150 and cannot advance beyond the Castle Age. Researching recruits will reduce the cost of your knights and zupons. Take advantage of this bonus to more easily keep up with the Magyar's large and ferocious army. The Magyar horsemen are initially too quick and powerful to directly attack. Focus on defensive tactics until you're strong enough to bring the fight to them. The Croat naval unit, the Kondura, is cheap and can be built quickly. Use it to guard riverbanks from early aggression. Destroying Magyar fortresses will be prove difficult given your limited technology. However, because this region was previously ruled by great empires, you may be able to discover instructions for constructing advanced siege weaponry in some of the destroyed buildings. Okay, so we need to take a need to keep an eye out for that because a bunch of castles without siege or beyond battering ram seems pretty bad. Uh, because Zoltan has superior tech to you, it would be wise to destroy the other Magyar factions before concentrating on the castle. The Croats are extra skilled fighting on uneven terrain, even without high ground advantage. Lure enemy soldiers towards hills whenever possible. Uh, Tomislav has gathered his army to defend the northern city of Sisak, which sits directly in the path of the Magyar Horde. Although he may be able to hold off their initial assault, he will need to quickly fortify its borders before he can hope to advance into Lower Pannonia. The Magyars are divided into four factions indicative of their evolving culture. The opening assault force is lethal, but Tomislav's army will be able to defeat them if they strike with the right formations. Okay, that was green. Oh, and they're already gone. Uh, the Magyar Raiders, which are purple, control an extensive base on the northern side of the map, north of the Drava River, and are quickly advancing towards Croatia. Their vast horde of light calves, step lancers, cav archers, and occasional knights have been a scourge of the unsuspecting villages for decades, and they will be a serious threat until Tomislav can mobilize his forces quickly. The Magyar Daves, Marauders, Cyan, Assault the region from the east. They're not as powerful as the primary Magyar forces, but will consistently attack you with a bunch of stuff. Uh, beware of the Magyar bandits. Once you migrate northward towards resources, they've ravaged much of the Pannonian countryside and will threaten Tomislav's forces should you cross them. I imagine they're just going to be kind of like, uh, you know, dummy AIs. Your toughest opponent, opponent is Zoltan, the Magyar prince. Recognizing the need for his civilization to grow into a full-fledged empire, he has set out to and expanded his territory into Croatian lands. His five fortresses... Uh, are well defended and his heavy cavalry are considerably stronger than the horse riders and the more nomadic. Yeah, although the Zoltan is slow the gate, he'll need to be tactical, all that stuff. That's a lot of reading. Don't let the town center be destroyed. Oh. Don't build the forest to serve Zoltan. Okay, protect his riding town center. So this one seems like a classic build and destroy and tool tips being turned off because DE. Bravo. 
Ooh, this is a lot of stone. Uh, I guess let's just start with some farms. Got... Oh, wait, we have plenty of stuff over here. What am I going? Uh, and Tomislav himself does have to survive. So, there are... We need to destroy three castles, but there are five in total, if I understand this correctly. And the Zoltan is in the Imperial Age. Oops. Oh, let's bump this up to fast speed. Because the first scenario took plenty long as is. Oh, I thought that he was slow out the start or whatever. Oh boy. <laughs> Those guys definitely say, oh boy. So we have like a pretty nice little town here. It's in a very defensible location, kind of in a ravine. It's like Rivendell. But yeah, I want to get a little bit of a better villager count before clicking up. Otherwise, we're going to hit Castle Age and we're not going to be able to do a whole lot with it. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, the, the Magyar Marauders are Huns. And the Magyar Raiders are Magyars. They all have such similar names. But thankfully, they are pretty dumb. So we'll click up with, like, you know, a couple villagers or so. Let's make one more. Then we'll click up. Oh, these guys are quite aggro. Now, Tommy Slav does need to not die here. But he's pretty tanky. Oh, whoops. Anyway, we'll just buy a castle once we hit said age, and we'll place it at the front here so we can actually defend the entrance to our base. And I kind of want to see what the uh, the naval stuff is all about. Oh, there's one deep fish. Two deep fish. Is it worth three deep fish? Oh, yeah, you bet we're docking that. If we can. I guess I thought we could. Okay, baby, I was wrong. Rip. Uh, let's get some stables. Get useful upgrades. Then we can just buy a castle. Let's grab heavy plow and bow saw heavy plow. I mean, the farming bonus is nice, but especially for the, uh, we get the faster farm rate. I mean, the Civ feels like a, a mix between Bulgarians and Slavs, which, considering that they're, you know, the Croats, it makes a lot of sense. Let us burn this city to the 
How about no? Yeah, no. Not many great TC spots. Oh my goodness! I thought you guys were feudal age. You are feudal age. That's OP. Oh, come on, finish the castle. No! Venezuela has died in combat. Now the Magyars will trample us. Whoopsies. You know, sometimes in life, you make mistakes. And that is okay. Also, we can start our eco right away. I mean, sacking, sisak, I mean, sack is literally in the name. I mean, why wouldn't you? We cannot get out. Okay, this time with less Tomislav dying. I know we can do it. Map's really pretty. Da. Da. I mean, our, our strategy was fine. We just had a little bit of a case of not having Tommy Slob run away far enough. Charge! Men! Charge! <laughs> Map's decently big, and since we can only get the Castle Age, it's gonna be quite the effort. Considering our main enemies are the, the Magyars, though, I kind of wish that the Zupan was something other than the Magyar Hussar. Like, I know your options aren't that great, but maybe use a Keshik instead? I don't know. Like, it's just we're, we're at facing actual Magyar Hussars quite a lot. Anyway, that's all fine. Probably click up after that guy. Yeah, Zoltan's an imp already. That's pretty scary. Well, let's get to Castle Age. So let's build our stables a bit more forward. So what bonuses? You have the faster making militia, the high ground bonus, or low ground bonus, I guess. Whoa. And the farmers. And then we have the trade cog team bonus. One of the castle, or the castle age unique tech is making the knights and stuff cheaper. I forget what the imperial age one does. But we can't get to imperial age yet, so that's not an issue. But yeah, Tommy Slav is going to be spending some nice time in the castle once it's actually built for once.
No, less dying. Okay, we don't need that yet. Let's just get the castle, defend the front of our base. I mean, it's a very nice little defensive area. I'm tempted to just, like, make some house walls here, too. Gradite. We do have lots of gold to start with. And we have a pretty big pop limit, 150. It's all looking good. Let's still make a scout just to see what's going down. Let us burn this city to the ground and take its villagers with us. No. And to you, I say, no. Oh, I still have the rally point in the wrong place. Uh, come on. Oh, I thought they were in feudal age. Oh, uh, we should just get like murder holes ASAP. Oh, wood's cheap. Also, I have so many foragers. Let's get flushing. Oh, look at them working together. I hate it. I mean, we essentially have the Slav farm bonus right now, so our eco should be insane. Or it should be getting insane pretty quick. if I should like full wall the front of my base. I mean it's pretty easy. Extra. There we go. It took. It was very, very much worth the APM to, to get that one tile gone. I probably need, don't need that one either. Oh, I have a lot of idols. I guess those berries ran out. Ran out. 
Oh yeah, did I ever make that scout? I don't think I did. Oh, I keep on building that thing. God damn it. But they do seem to attack quite early and often. And it's going to be hard to deal with a guy who's an Imperial Age, the Zoltan. Uh, with only Castle Age units. Alright, we already have enough stone for another castle. Oh, uh, map is very pretty. Okay, can't do anything over there. Oh. Happy Castle Age! Lots of resources here. Yeah, recruits. Nightline cost reduced to 50, Zupon to 35. That's green. I mean, we do have rather large um, stockpiles, I guess, of gold and stone, but they aren't going to last forever. Already, this one's getting. What a grim sight. These laggards spare no mercy to their victims. That's a rather unfortunate looking little village. Oh, I have a ton of resources. Uh, the walls were a good idea, though. Let's get it fortified while leaving. Oh, yeah, let's get recruits, too. Uh, I'm trying to remember their siege. I remember they have siege onager, but not siege ram. Okay, that should be fine for villagers. Razumio. All right. Okay, and we're going to send more scouts out because I want to know what I'm getting myself into. Okay, 60 food, 50 gold knights. That's pretty sick. This temple contains supplies that will make our siege weapons faster. Drill? Okay. Not what I expected. And yet, as I am wont to say, I'll take it. Why would you find that in a monastery? <laughs> I shouldn't ask questions. Okay. Very sad. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting a big old army of knights and zupons. Don't really see the need to make anything else other than our siege. Okay, it was just more bandits. Well, let's get our rams going. Oh, okay, here's the, the marauders. Here, here's Dave. Found Dave, guys. He's not in Canada. I should have gotten that a while ago. 
dark. So yeah, let's take out Cyan. Get Town Patrol too, actually. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, DE. You do you. Oh, they only have plus one, plus one on their archers. I think they have plus two, plus two for their cavalry, though. Oops. Oh, I didn't hotkey my castle. That's why it was so hard to select it. Oh, oh yeah. Taking out Cyan. Forgot about that. But Drill's going to be quite helpful in this. Ooh, here's a bunch of stone. Let's actually just build a castle over here. Help secure it. Okay, this whole area is gone. We have a pretty big old army right now. We did the build part of the build and destroy, so let's go destroy. Napado. Oh, we got villagers working. But not for long. Keep your fortresses off of my turf. No. I do what I want. More stone. Lots and lots of stone here. Oh yeah, the other one makes ca uh, the other unique tech makes castles fire more arrows. I remember that. Guys, we'll drop another castle over here. Where's that stone? And the Zupons are going to do so well against the melee units. How much attack? 15 attack. So they have 3 more attack than knights. And they have 8 melee armor. You want to attack, guys? It seems like the uh, the enemies are actually, like, have economies and stuff like that. I mean, I really like this campaign so far. Just from a design perspective. Ooh, they just have a... They says have a, a, a dock. Ooh, and a relic. And a castle. Okay, we are low on gold. Uh, there is a castle over here. I don't know if we should draw their ire. Oh, well, too late. We did it anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Get back to work. Oh, they have even fishing ships and stuff. So their upgrades aren't amazing. I mean, they're better than mine, but for being an Imperial Age, their upgrades aren't amazing. Stop it. Ugh, you know, I ask for gold, they give me gold. Okay, that's not too well defended. That's just some palisade walls, unless there's like another layer of stone walls. And that is a relic indeed. Oh, there's purple. Purple's in the north, I believe. So we'll go there next.
I don't remember what you guys were doing over here, but you can go ahead and build a monastery to take that relic. Uh, what's the sell price? Ooh, sell price is still amazing. And we have Slav farms, essentially. And technically, Orn Lucrotes are Slavs, so it would make sense that you would have Slav farmers. Shut up! Oh, wait, which one's Cyan? Oh, yeah, that's that's the one I've just been destroying. Oh, uh, I mean, that is a lot of guard towers and stuff. But our score is very high. Oh, hey, more of Cyan. And they have some gold miners over here. I would be more than happy to take those off their hands. Oh boy. I like how they say, oh boy. That's definitely what they're saying. I speak fluent Croatian, in case you didn't know. Well, I mean, this is getting taken care of quite well. I'm literally sending them into the meat grinder. Don't do that, me. I mean, Cyan's looking pretty dead. Get some more frickin' seed workshops. I won't. Well, that seems fairly, pretty fair. Oh, hey, here's purple. I think. Yeah, it's purple. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey there. All those guys are dead. Can I click? Oh, those are Cavaliers. Oh, uh, these guys have a lot of pike then. Actually, let's just kind of build up some more stables over here. Oh, did I uh, take down that shrub yet? Literally the second I look over, my castle dies. Oh, I should take down that one next. Okay. Lost a lot of pop out of nowhere. Oh. Dang, those guys have a lot of stuff. He's taking way too much to destroy this castle. to destroy three. Oh, I'm excited. Mm, okay. Thank goodness I'm paying attention to my castles very closely. Okay, let's, uh, can I build a dock? I can. I want to see what that trash boat is like. One of the areas I think that AoE actually does have a decent amount 
of more design space is uh, uh, warships. Okay, so I can just use my longbow, or the, the hotkey I have for actually all the unique ships, because for some reason in DE, you have to have the same hotkey for caravels, turtle ships, and longboats. Don't really know why. In, uh, in Voobly, and I think even HD, you could have separate ones. Doesn't matter too much, though. Okay, let's get through that really narrow choke point. I don't know what the penalty is for losing your starting town center. I mean, it's not like we're about to do that, considering we're, you know, behind fortified walls and all that. Oh my goodness. D.E. Okay, there we are. So, 75 HP, 6 attack. But it's otherwise kind of like a longboat. I mean, for being a, what, 75 wood? 60 wood? It's actually not at all bad. It's just like a weak galley. <laughs> just a few idols, guys. Could probably get rid of some farmers, too. Stone walls. Looks like they mined that out. Things are going pretty well, it must be said. Scouting at least a good chunk of the map. Ooh, wait, this is orange. We're in orange land. That's a lot of Magyar Hussars. We should really take out the castle that's just kind of in the middle of the map. But I would imagine Zoltan just has unlimited resources, or at least is getting an infinite trickle. Whereas the, the Raiders and the Marauders are actually, like, you know, playing Age of Empires. That would make sense to me, since Orange is scattered everywhere. Okay, so Purple has some more stuff over this way, so we'll send some dudes over there. Just keep on... keep on keeping on. Oh, I don't remember that I was finding so much stone. But we need lots of army. Because they have lots of army. Don't I have... Okay, the workshops are nearby. What's over this way? I don't need you. Mostly just need gold at this point. Actually, I have like no lumberjacks left. Oh, what are you guys doing over here? Okay, this is probably enough. They don't have uh, hoardings. Just have a couple mega hussars. Oh, yeah. 
Any more gold? Go over there, I guess. Go for one more castle, because we only need to destroy three castles, remember. And this is going to be two. We've already destroyed one. Where was that one? Oh, over here in the far east of the map. Only one castle remains. Soon, Pannonia will be firmly armed. Firmly. I guarantee you, this is only the beginning, Thomas Lockheed. Well, yeah, I mean, it's only the second scenario. There are six, I believe. So yeah, we'll make one final push up here, and then we should be GG, but in a good way. Like we win, not we lose. Oh. Those guys look kind of lost. Castles up. Uh, attack me a little bit from over here. Oh, that's a big army. Oh no, don't send the rams in. Oh, so just go for the castle rams. I don't know, you guys accompany him to destroy that one Hussar. I mean, that is going to be a lot of arrow fire. That's a lot of arrow fire. Even to tea parties? Quite strong, Thomas. I commend your skill. To my credit, the Magyars are unbreakable spirits. I promise you that one day, Croatia will be ours to rule. Alrighty. The fighting persisted for several years. The Magyars wrecked and pillaged the Croatian outskirts on a constant basis. Tomislav's men defended their homeland courageously, but success did not come overnight. Only through cunning strategy did the Croats finally come to stave off the Maiars. Battling them in the open field proved futile, but by leading them to the swampy banks of the Drava River, Tomislav forced them to slow their advances. From there, the Croat warriors had the upper hand. Slowly but surely, the Maiar presence in Croatia was eviscerated, and Dotan turned his attention elsewhere. Croatia was spared for the moment, but an even greater threat now approached from the east. Dun dun dun! Alrighty! Pretty straightforward to uh, build and destroy specific targets, i.e. these castles. Yeah. Purple was definitely more of a threat than Cyan, though. But still, I definitely think uh, well-designed. I mean, it was straightforward, but that's not necessarily a bad thing and isn't at all a bad thing, I think, in this particular instance. Got some horses over here. Not sure if that meant anything. Yeah, we found the siege, or we found drill. That was really nice. Just made our lives a lot easier. Oh, this one's, like, way up on a mountain. But, you know, there were different, there were different ways you could play out this scenario. You know, different targets you could go for and that wasn't necessarily super straightforward oh yeah purple is definitely much more worth that than cyan cyan did have a relic did purple have a relic don't see one 
But yeah, I like it. I, I really did think this was a, a very nicely done scenario. And just, again, kudos to whoever did the actual map design. It looks amazing. This one's in a swamp. This castle's in a swamp. This one's on, like, a snowy mountain. Uh, this one's kind of on a plateau-ish thing. This one's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like, they're all kind of different. Anywho, that is enough from me. That was Bloody Hooves. And next up will be number three, Asylum. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.